morning guys welcome to today's video we're actually nice and early on the road it's seven o'clock and we're heading to Austin we're going to the birthing center because I'm going in for my blood test uh, blood glucose test yep. so we're gonna see if I have gestational diabetes so fingers crossed that everything comes out good I think they're checking you levels to drink Kool-Aid or something yeah apparently the thing that you drink is uh, it's just straight sugar water the only thing that that sucks about this is I have to be fasted so I haven't eaten since dinner last night and I'm already hungry and they take my blood at 8 30 and then I have to they take my blood at 9 30 and then again at 10 30 that's how I don't know and then they send the blood to get tested I don't I don't think I'll actually know today it'd be nice if I did but then and so we have that and then I go back at two so we have our centering uh, program like our basically birthing class from two to four so it's gonna be a long day in Austin and I'm the driver <laughs> do you think I'm gonna pass the test oh I thought you meant pass out because you have to get blood maybe oh <laughs> maybe to that one I didn't even think about that I think I'll pass the test I'll see why not but you know you never know because mm -hmm. apparently they like what you do before doesn't really it has to be a factor but I don't know they said that a lot of it can boil down to genetics as far as gestational diabetes. They said there's not really too much you can do. Some women just get it, but it can be managed with diet and exercise. So that's something that I can definitely do if it comes down to that. So it's just precautionary, just making sure that everything is going to be nice and smooth for the birth and just taking care of any uh, risk factors ahead of time. And this, let's go to this thing and I'm, I have a bag of snacks with me. So as soon as I can eat, I'm going to eat. So we're 30 minutes early. You're ridiculous. It's been, it's been like 30 minutes or about an hour since last you spoke to him and you're freaking out about food. Hungry. You don't have to eat all the time. Everyone's be like, but she's pregnant. Right. I am. <laughs> And so I'm giving you this look. It's like, well, this is part of pregnancy. You have to go through this glucose thing. So we played a show at a place called The Growling. It's like a all Texas beer bar type place. It almost turned out to be like sort of like a family show in a way. Like there's a lot of people that we didn't know um, sitting around, but it was mostly people that we kind of invited. It was a sp so small, small venue. But it was actually a really cool place. The owner was awesome. He uh, basically said that I, our, our band doesn't really drink that much. And so there was a solo artist like, I guess that's all he can really pay in, this this specific place. All beer, so he just pays in beer. beer. <laughs> yeah, which is, like, you know, I, tr I tried one or two, but, like, yes, we drank less as a full band and our uh, significant others than the solo artist. <laughs> I didn't know we got free stuff. He tried to charge me for the water. <laughs> well, no, apparently he was supposed to. He thought we were going to drink as much as well, that I other guy. Well, I had another water then. It was, it was a fun show. Like, we, I think I messed up once or twice. It was, it was just nice. It was a nice, nice little show. I seen everybody out, and we had this other girl open before us, and she was good. And uh, so it's just, I'm just gonna keep saying, it's, it was nice. <laughs> yeah, so it was good. Yeah, the guy was really cool. He's like, I want y'all, if y'all gonna play this good, I want y'all out every single month. And in my mind, I'm like, well, you know, it's not paid, but you know, it's it's local and it's a pretty cool guy. So I was like, yeah, we'll we'll, probably, we'll talk about it. And then he said he also works at Middleton Brewery, which is another brewery right down from us in Wimberley. And uh, he said that's actually a paid show, and he can get us in there. And so we're already starting to get shows. We're, uh, we're going to be playing somewhere probably in about another two weeks or so. Um, and then we also have a TV spot in April, I think? March? Yeah, somewhere around there. Where we get to go play on, on live TV in Austin. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. So that's a for sure thing? That's a for sure thing. Hmm. We, uh, we just need to get enough uh, video and stuff for them to play a couple of our songs. And then the uh, digital release of the CD will be in like a week or two. So really soon. So I'll, I'll make that announcement on here for sure. Just so you can hear what I've been doing. Yeah. How do you? To do what I do will make me right. Yeah. <laughs> 
you guys can see. Another day of nasty weather. Um, so Matt can't work on anything outside today. <sighs> so um, not really much progress we can make as far as that goes. But he, I think he has two holes left. Almost done with the holes. And uh, let's see what the boys are up to. <gasps> Hi boys, what are y'all doing? Come on boys. Ready Brady? Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Go. <laughs> nope. Come on. Y'all, I seriously cannot, <laughs> cannot explain to y'all how weird the weather has been lately. It was. 87 one day and then 45 the next day the next morning and then yesterday was pretty nice it was a little there was a little bit of a cool breeze and now it's like cold again and rainy tomorrow's probably gonna be warm again we're getting all seasons uh in a matter of a few days so um yeah not a lot we can do with the house right now but Matt's still waiting on the estimate from the electrical people. I got a call with my lab results today and I did pass my blood glucose test so I do not have gestational diabetes which is fabulous. Um, she said my iron was a little low so I have actually been neglecting to take my supplement in the last couple weeks. I've been very forgetful about it. Um, so she just said to make sure take the supplement every single day. She said it's very common for going for women going into the third trimester to have lower than normal iron. She said it's just slightly lower than than average. So she just wants to make sure that it doesn't get any lower. So she said supplement 65 milligrams a day, I think, and I should be good. So I'm going to take my iron supplement right now because I do keep forgetting and I, I'm pretty sure that's why. But good news so I don't have to worry about my blood sugar for the rest of the pregnancy thank the lord and uh yeah we we've got not a lot going on today um Matt's working from here he's making a bunch of phone calls for work and uh I'm about to make some lunch so let's do that ready go <laughs> like watching his back end Brady So, I mean, I'm taking a quick break uh, from work just to walk in the woods for a little bit. So, uh, right by your head. I know. <laughs> Let's see what we've uh, finished clearing. I just like walking back there, and it's kind of a nice day compared to what we had yesterday. It's gussy. I don't know if you've seen it yet. The boys love it. I just thought they would like uh, seeing all, everything back here. So, we've been clearing everything through here. I don't know. I don't know, we probably have a video to reference it. Maybe not. We cleared all of this, like all the cedar and everything. So we're trying to just do like a fire break. I guess my parents like that tree, so they didn't cut that one. I don't know. The idea is to actually create a like a 20 foot uh, span across uh, in case there is a fire. You can actually try to prevent as much as you can. So we're, we cleared all the brush. Is yeah, and the house is going to be... Our house, our new house. Yeah, right there. So this is kind of our backyard, and uh, you can actually see the grass is kind of growing pretty well back here already. It was just kind of dirt. Well, it was like this all over the place, but it's actually looking pretty good. We just have to finish uh, getting all the brush out and go burn it. But you can see we actually burned over here. Go boys, go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, boys. Oh yeah, and we cut this down. You can see how like thick that, that tree is, but it was a, like a dead tree and this is all from it. So it just collapsed after we cut it. Scary moment. It was pretty cool. Made a lot of loud noises that you didn't hear for some reason. And I came and tried to shoot down a, a tree branch <laughs> so that it wouldn't fall on our head later, but it's, no, it's still sitting up there. Where is it? You see that tree right there? 
there's like this kind of a uh, small little branch that goes across. You can see it better from the side. That was like, I don't know, two thirds of the way up from the tree that we cut down. The tree hmm. was huge. Just one of the branches that kind of fell off and landed in that. Yeah. And then we pulled more wire up. I guess just fence left from uh, the neighbors whenever they were fencing out here. Yeah, and also we're gonna try to make maybe some table and chairs out of uh, these woods, wooden stumps. Obviously wooden stumps, not metal, you know. But then even that tree that we cut down over there, the really big one, has some good ones too. And so we thought the taller one, we're gonna put like a little tabletop on it. I don't know what type of tabletop yet, but you know, something. What's nice about burning all this area is it comes back pretty green. I still need to clear the cactus right here, but we're talking about putting like a little gazebo. Your parents need to make a trail from there, huh? We're getting there. We're, we're still moving this direction. Well, they're moving this direction. I'm finishing the house. It gives everybody something to do, you know? And also when there's nothing to do for me, I can come out here and just burn things. Have fun. Do man things, you know? <laughs> cut things, cut and burn, slash and burn. Whoa, there's an owl. It's only forever. Chill out. <laughs> it's a good so movie, but chill out. Anytime I see an yeah. owl flying. Just David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> in his very tight crotch pants. Look at Buzz. Buzz, Buzz. Buzz, Buzz. It's too bright to look at you. <laughs> Are you full or pregnant? <laughs> Just full. So, I had a bit of a, not not like a big meltdown today. I'd say a moderate meltdown. I mean, you've been pregnant for how long now? And you've only had like a handful of these? It's not bad. I know, you know, a lot of people tell stories of how some, emotional some, they get. pretty bad. They go kind of... Out of, out of their minds. I mean, this mm -hmm. is from their words, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Well, I'm just, I just kind of had a little freak out about the place being ready for the baby and for us, you know? We come second. <laughs> yeah. I mean, most of this is for the, for the baby, for the family in general, you know, the growing family and uh, kind of got overwhelmed with thinking about everything that we need to do and how it's only, I mean, it's already mid-February and, uh, there's not really much on the ground yet, so. We're in the ground. We're in the ground. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I was talking with my business partner today, and uh, we're getting all the estimates. We're feeling better about the budget. We have some plans, like, to do it in sort of phases if we really need to, just so that we can get things, like, the necessities just done. So we can get the bedroom done, the nursery that's going to have a sliding door. Hell, maybe we don't even put the sliding door on yet. Yeah, and so we don't have to finish all of that stuff out. We're going to have the kitchen done and the bathroom done and then the washing room area. Uh, that, mm -hmm. That'll be done as well. Which that room I'll probably keep, I mean, make semi-finished. I don't know. I mean, I'll finish it out. Yeah. It's just that that's a, that's a room where it's like you just go in there for, it's like the utility room, you know? Yeah. It's like it doesn't really matter. But I, yeah, I was just kind of freaking out a little bit about things not being ready. And I, I think I'm nesting right now, so nesting. I can't I can't really get anything ready for the baby you know we don't have we barely even have room to store clothes um and so i was just like crying about feeling bad because <laughs> yeah. we don't have like a nursery set up and just yeah well brady you're walking through the ashes and rubbing them on your head that's why they're still on your head you can't rub them off by rubbing on the ground either <laughs> buddy brady at least he's cute yeah well, i mean just because we don't have another option I mean, mm -hmm. you don't want to set up inside, you know, family homes of any kind. You want it in yours. Yours isn't going to be done until probably can't get into a actual room, you know, unfinished or otherwise. Uh, probably at least for another month, month and a half. It's going to be longer than that till we can actually move some move in. You can somewhat move in. The floors aren't going to be finished, but and then from there you're just kind of moving things around. That's like, what we already do. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we we can partially move in at that point. But yeah, it's just one of those moments that, uh, you know, I guess people don't 
people won't necessarily show. We've been showing little updates and stuff, but just showing showing all, all parts of it. And I just want to get something up so I can actually work on it a bit more. This is a stage where I just don't know much about. And so I'm, I'm having to rely on other people and... I'm not always a huge fan of relying on other people, I guess. I don't know. I like, I like being able to know things and do it in my own time. But this, I have to wait. Waiting on the estimates. I don't know. Yeah, figuring out who we need. Yeah. And, yeah. and we're bringing more people in than I thought we would just, just because we want to do it right. We want HVAC right. We want... Plumbing. Plumbing. Electricity. electricity. We definitely want to look... That was no matter what. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even going to attempt that. But uh, we're having to run electricity over 300 feet, I think. Which, if y'all know anything about that, can get pretty pricey. Yeah, that's the update for today. But yeah, we're we'll involving a lot of people, and uh, yeah, we'll get it done. A little bit of either way, we'll day. get it done. It's just we want she wants it done now. I want it done now, obviously. <laughs> Worrying about it's not going to make it any better, but I still have those worries. So I don't blame you. I just got to let them out every now and then. A lot running it. through our minds. That's it. And I'm also getting some sunshine right now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's that's gonna be it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. Yeah, seriously, we're uh, we're we're about to start moving pretty quick. It's literally it's as soon. The last one. I know, it, but no, it really is. It, it's we're just waiting on the final estimates, and then we get the loan to to push forward on all of those, and that is it. Everything moves forward real quick after that. Containers, then framing, dry in with the roof, and then from there, it's all the stuff I know how to do. So I come back in and. It's like a. Getting a train rolling, the momentum. Yeah. It's very slow at first. Yeah, and then once you get it rolling, you're like, oh my God, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get handle the, this. Get that momentum going. And I feel like once we finally do, things are going to move really fast, like you said. So it'll be, we might do a ton of updates at that point, just yep. depending on what's going on. But yeah, right now it looks like there's not much because we're just, you're literally just digging into the ground. <laughs> Almost done with that though. Yeah. Yep. Today. So, okay. Well, that's gonna today. be it for today. Y'all make sure and hit that thumbs up. And I, right, y'all know. Yeah, you know what know to do. Deal. Yeah. Go click on bells and thumbs and stuff. Triangles. Triangles. Let's subscribe. Triangles? Yeah, let's subscribe. The play button. There we go. Oh yeah. The side. Yeah. I guess the sideways triangle. Yep. Whatever it is, go click on it. But either way, y'all have fun out there. Bye guys. Smoothie song. <laughs> Even that makes me hungry. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna do some close ups. Yeah, just waiting for you to say something interesting. I have nothing interesting. I also grew this sweet beard. It's an okay beard, it's not that good. I've seen better. Okay, we're trying to keep it. I'm spiraling now. <laughs> Take two. Take four. <laughs> Am I in it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> he knows he doesn't have to go far because you won't you won't follow through. <laughs> oh my god. You try and get up with a basketball in your stomach. You call me fat.